In this video, we are going to discuss about memory order consume option. Memory order consume is a special case of memory order acquire that limits the synchronization of data to direct dependencies. To understand the memory order consume, first we have to look at two new relationships carries a dependency to relationship and dependency ordered before relationship. Carries a dependency to applies within a thread. If the result of an operation A is used as operand for the operation B, then we call A carries a dependency to B. Now consider this below diagram. Here, the creation of X object and assignment of its attribute carries a dependency to store operation which store x object into the p atomic variable. But storing value 20 to the a variable does not carry a dependency to the last store operation. Now dependency order before is a relationship which applies between two threads. Now this relationship also implies the synchronization between two threads but it limits to the synchronization of data to the direct dependencies. Now here we can achieve this relationship via memory order consume. Let's see an example and discuss this a bit more. Now this is the example we discussed in our presentation. Now here this createx function is going to run on a one thread and this useX function is going to run in a separate thread. Now, to provide the necessary synchronization between these two threads, I have used memory order release with the store operation to p pointer in the create thread. And in the use thread, I have load the value of p with the memory order consume option. Now, because of this release and consume operation, there will be synchronization. But this synchronization will limit to the direct data dependencies, which means that there's no guarantee that the use thread sees the store to the a variable because this stored operation to the a variable does not carry a dependency to store operation for p pointer therefore this user thread might not see the modification to the a variable now because of that this last assertion which check the a value is 20 might fail or might fire because there's no guarantee that use thread sees this because we have used memory order consume here so in the cases where you need synchronization between only dependent statement, you can use memory order consume instead of memory order release.